Hello there! This Bond mini car, Mark F Ranger, was the most terrifying van in the world, and I'll tell you its story. Why so scary? Because it caught fire, the bonnet flew open, and it had cable operated brakes. You know, just like a bicycle. I'll also tell you more about the van's specification, that alone might blow your mind, and show you this original documentation from the 1960s. I wonder if it says you owned it. Oh yeah, look at that. It was my father's first car. Who knew? Welcome to Car Spy TV. This Bond mini car, Mark F Ranger, was a small, practical van that only had three wheels. It was registered in November 1961 and is pictured here three years later in 1964 when my father was learning to drive. Look, there's the L plate. Now, the specification was unbelievably basic by today's standards. For example, it had a 247cc petrol engine that was just one quarter of one litre. This two-stroke engine only had one cylinder and just 12 brake horsepower, but it still propelled the vehicle all the way to 55 miles per hour. That must have felt terrifyingly quick in such a flimsy van. <coughs> Furthermore, as my father turned the steering wheel, the entire engine turned with it. Literally. It turned left and right within the engine bay. You don't get that on the Rolls Royce. The Bond Mini Car Mark F also has four speed manual transmission, specifically column shift transmission. But guess what it didn't have? It didn't have a reverse gear. So if my father wanted to go backwards, he got out the van, flexed his muscles and pushed. <sighs> Worse still, this van didn't even have satellite navigation. The brakes didn't inspire confidence either. Why? Because they were cable brakes, just like a bicycle. So, rather than measure the stopping distance in metres, my father measured them in ice ages instead. He says these brakes taught him anticipation. Yeah. Oh, you'll like this too. The Bond minicar Mark F Ranger had aluminium and fibreglass bodywork, but, as standard from the factory, no paint on the bodywork. Paint was an optional extra. It did have primer though. Maybe that's why my father painted it. With a brush, three times, in three different colours. Now, this Bond minicar Mark F Ranger had many adventures. One day, my father was driving down the road, wondering what colour to paint it next, when the dashboard caught fire. There were flames, there was smoke, there was a lot of heat. Naturally, he wanted to stop, but he couldn't because the brakes were useless. He therefore simultaneously patted out the flames, dodged the oncoming traffic, and managed to maintain his composure. He did burn his hands, but at least he prevented an inferno. Good work, eh? Another time, it was a cold, frosty morning, and the road was slippery. My father stopped, and, once he checked the van wasn't on fire, leaned back to relax in his seat. Moments later, the front of the van started to slide left on the ice. It then slid a bit more, and a bit more. In fact, it only stopped when the front wheel ploughed into the curb. Oh, that must have been fun. Another day, my father was out and about, hoping there was no ice, when the bonnet flew open. This completely obscured the windscreen. He therefore slammed on the brakes as hard as he could, and only 20 minutes later, the van came to a stop. My father then calmly closed the bonnet, got back in the van, and decided it might be time to get a better vehicle. Yeah. Good call. Okay, let's have a look at some of these documents. This is a spare parts list for the Bond Mini Car Mark C all the way up to the Mark F that we're talking about in this video. Essentially, it's a big price list and most pages look something like that. There you go. So, let's have a look at a couple of examples. If you wanted to buy a petrol tank minus the filler cap, that cost £4, 17 shillings and 6 pence. Obviously, this is all pre-decimalisation. Let's see what else we've got in here. Pick a page at random. Page 13, driver's seat, that cost £4, 10 shillings and no pence. 
There's also this book that's now missing its cover. It's the Book of the Bond Mini Car, a practical handbook covering all models up to March 1963. Essentially, it's an old style Haynes manual. So have a look here. For example, there's information about the engine, there's electrical diagrams, and many other things. And look, you can tell it's been well used. Look at how dirty that page is. Oil and grime everywhere. Oh, that's interesting. It says here, if your dashboard catches fire, pat out the flames, but try not to burn your hands. They must have been psychic. There's also this receipt from when my father bought the car. It confirms that the cash price was £120. However, my father put down £70 and then paid the remaining £50 plus £7 interest over the next 12 months. He therefore, in total, paid £127. I wonder if that was a good deal. And that's it. That's the Bond Mini Car Mark F Ranger. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Among many other things, there's more classic car stuff. Oh, and do me a favour and click like on this video. You can also ask me any questions in the comment section. Right, that's all for now. Hang on. Does anyone smell burning?